All right, should I should I give this a shot? Uh, it's your show, man. All right. Uh, be gentle. I never did this before. Everybody hears audio. Beat us and me fine. Oh yeah. Gotta do the audio test first. How do I do an audio test? You just say, chat has the audio test. Like, everybody in the chat is a sound engineer. Oh, excellent. It's just kind of how the Twitch audience works somehow, so I always just kind of... Well, Freezing Ice Kirby, Broken Paperclip, and Charm Witch all give me the okay. Well, well, look at all those well, audio folks, good. The gods, Mala Malaysia. All right, enough. Ready? Uh, ready. What do you know about Cave Story before we start? It's a game that... Uh, one guy made yes and oh. it later got to steam and was originally on something else beforehand mm -hmm. and that's about all i know guy was named pixel or called himself that did it for five years five years yeah art wait a sec like oh i know <laughs> let's start from the beginning see, that's studio pixel see you can't start from the beginning when you stream slow beef. There's no. no rewind. There's no hard reset. Oh this no, I'm not. I'm not picking the other music option. Ooh. So uh, this is a little controversial of a port because they upped the uh, graphics and music, and Wait. everyone hates the new music. But I never heard it before, honestly. So. Did the same guy make the new music? No, I think it was ported by this company, Nicholas. Uh, N I C A L I S. It's uh, Daft Punk, actually. Right. Right. Something's still not right. What's well, not right? We're supposed to see a chat room when the game starts. So the character in Cave Story is also streaming? Yeah, why not? Okay. Interesting. Uh, let's go with the original. Um, I've never played. Alright, fuck it. <laughs> Whatever. So, um, yeah. Uh, we're, the game usually starts with a little chat room be uh, between some people we don't know. This guy's trapped in a room, more or less. His name's Kazuma. He's talking to someone named Sue. Boom. Okay. And then there's going to be a murder and some anime? Yeah. Let me um, let me show you what usually happens to first-time game story players, myself included, okay? Okay. Nice. Absolutely. You start the game with five health, it's not much at all, and those spikes will kill you in one hit, so you start all over again. And start point aptly named. And this is the first cave. Cave Story is a Metroidvania, more or less. I don't know if that's a real genre term. Do you think it is, or...? I think it is at this point. So it's not a Rouge-like? It's not a Rouge-like. It's not a Doom clone. Okay. It's a Metroidvania. And right off the bat we get an HP increase, so that works. Now we can survive one spike. You'll notice uh, uh, everything in this game is fucking girl. adorable. But we'll be murdering it soon enough. Yeah, those bats are so synchronized. Oh, they're nice, yeah. And then there's those little puffy guys in the water. I'm sure these things all have names, but I don't know what they are. I haven't played this game in, like, years. I would call that a bat. And, uh... <laughs> oh, you beat the game. Yep, that's right. <laughs> we finished the first cave story. It wasn't a very interesting story. But uh, we get a polar star now, so we can actually shoot the shit out of things. Oh. Mm -hmm. Here yeah, we go. No Here's some transmission. Oh, there we are. So this is the most interesting part of the game, where you watch other people in a chat room. Mm -hmm. That guy's watching your stream right now. I, I know he is. Is well, his computer's blue screening, right? Yes. So anyway, we stole this uh, Hermit's gun. It's called the Polar Star. It's our first weapon of the game. It's kind of weak, but pretty good as far as the weapons in this game go. Now, you see the th stuff in the upper left? Like, my health, obviously, and then there's like a level one thing. Right. You see those golden triangles I'm collecting? I do. Those have nothing to do with each other. Good. Okay. Now, you can like level up your weapons by collecting those, but it's not like an RPG. Like, if you get hit, you'll lose the, I guess, yellow points or whatever along with health. And what if you lose all that air? Uh, you die. I think that's instant death if I remember. But you get 100 air, so... Okay, and you're typing a report while you're playing this, it sounds like? <laughs> Is there a way I can keep the microphone from picking up my keyboard, or...? You play with a controller, obviously. <laughs> and then you'll hear the clack of the thumbstick instead. 
Okay, I'm trying to be quieter about it. Just stuff some uh, little tiny hellos under each key. Let me show you something else everybody does the first time they play this game. Okay. I see an eye on that door. Yeah, that door is kind of a shitty trap monster. Level down? Yeah, so, like I said, when you get hit, you lose your gun experience, or those ye that yellow meter. Right. So my gun was actually at level two, but I got hit, so it went down at level one. So your gun got dumber. Yes, it did. So here's some more chat room. Okay. Keep story Speak takes a bit to get going. Okay. Speaking of chat room, mm -hmm. for once I can see what this chat is doing. Oh yeah. Yeah, Our you're in chat, the your passenger chat. seat. That's right. It's something a lot of streamers, that's the hot button term for people who do this. <laughs> a lot of them like to read the chat and interact with people who say things to them. It's the new thing. Oh my god. Look, we're gonna get the story. Oh. It's the Mimiga Village. I think that's how you pronounce it. Do you want to just skip this part and I'll just like fast track through it, or what do you think? Uh, what, well, let's see, it's not the kind of thing you ask me. Well, I'm asking you, though. Are you, in are you particularly interested in it? Well, I mean, it's more important to ask the viewers. I think the viewers are probably... I'll, I'll show it off, you know? Because my goal in this stream is actually to convince you, Diabetes, to play Cave Story. I'm, I'm a hard sell. Sue's a good person, too. Who's Sue? And wh who are... What are these? These are Mimi guys. They're... They're rabbit people. I knew people. that. <laughs> Do you like rabbit people? Because well, there's plenty of them here. Oh, those are rabbits. Oh, not really. They're Mimi Ga. I don't know. Is if that rabbit in prison? Is that a prison scar on his nose? Yes, that is a prison scar. This is a prison, <laughs> if you see the upper right there. Oh, we fell. Okay. And the animation was kind of delayed after the fall, even in the original version, so. Huh. Well, that's a two out of five. <laughs> so, um... This is maybe... I do have... I like Cave Story a lot. I, I, I think maybe we could have done a little more action before we have to go through the Mimiga Village, but it doesn't take super long. It's so Zelda that way. <laughs> this is our pal King. He's kind of the... I guess the boss of the village, more or less. And he's oh, trying to get a fitting. key from the other Mimiga to Taroko. Alright. Do you even give a shit about this? No. Okay, let me fast track it for you. Oh, I just did. Never mind. There you go. I've been watching a lot of West Wing lately, so it's kind of weird going to this for a narrative. <laughs> right after that. I mean, it's, it's actually pretty similar, come to think of it. <laughs> I, I like it. I like it more to House of Cards, personally. <laughs> so. Now check this out. <laughs> what the rabbit doesn't know <laughs> is that my gun is halfway to level two. <laughs> hey, look, we got our first item. How was that a South Carolina accent, by the way? Oh, no, I, I totally understood you from South Carolina. <laughs> Tell me I when you can see... I kind of tie South Carolina to Savannah, as far as accents go. Savannah. Right. It's Tell like me when you can see that jelly, gotta... or jelly... Goldfish. Goldfish. I'm more concerned about your air. Oh, you're going to get more concerned, even. Oh, my God. Well, I see a floating... That fish is so smug. Look at that motherfucker. I know. You can kill it. doesn't attack you, but you can kill it if you want. But I'm not gonna, because he's just chilling. He's a nice fish. It doesn't get you gun experience? It does not. It doesn't drop one of the little Triforce pieces. Uh -huh. So a whole playthrough, about four to five hours? Eh, more or less. Okay. We're not gonna do the whole thing tonight. It gets pretty hard later on. Like, it's not a particularly difficult game, a la I want to be the guy or Did something just like kill that. Himself? What? He just kill himself. Then, right? <laughs> no, he just ran. Off, she ran off to the right. It looked like a bottomless cliff until you moved. No, see, it's okay. It's not bottomless. I'm nervous about these characters who I've grown so attached to. <laughs> Do you like our character? Um, your character is the silent protagonist. Yes, actually, he is. Uh, we're not supposed to know anything about him, basically. I'm gonna save my progress and refill my life because we have been through a lot today. So he has a silent protagonist. I wish this stream was led by a silent protagonist. Um, what? <laughs> Retsu streamed. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Can I tell you a bit about uh, the LP curse in this game? LP curse? Yes. 
I know the deceased crab will beat this game. Back in the day, um, this was considered a cursed game because everybody who started a Let's Play of it could not finish it. Like, they all abandoned it. And I wanted to, to try it, but deceased crab beat me to it and he finished it. Mm -hmm. I hated him ever since. So what, what about it made it difficult to finish? Because you said it's only a few hours. Because, you know, back in the day, Let's Play whatever, people would always abandon threats, you know? Mm. But we what do you mean back in the day, Slovy? Oh, God. Uh. Look, I just got another max HP increase, so, you know. Your, uh, your stream's looking a little flaggy or frame-y, choppy. Nothing really changed. Should I, uh... Well, now, it looks better now. Oh. Just for a second there. Maybe I hit, like, a network hiccup. There's too much exciting activity. That other Mimi guy was talking about the red flowers, and he said if Mimi guy eat red flower, they eat flowers for food, and if they eat red ones, though, their blood pressure gets too high and they die. Mm -hmm. so, so basically, the red flower diabetics. So, so you can relate to it. Ugh, can't believe you went there. I know. <laughs> I'm a hack, if you haven't noticed. Mm -hmm. So, Cave Story Plus. So the graphics are updated. Uh, the music is no longer chip tuny, or it kind of is, but more or less, it's. Uh, you said people like the old music. They do because it's it, it it doesn't sound as chip tuny as it used to be, basically. So people say like, oh, the soundtrack kind of sucks. I don't think it's that bad, you know. But I can see kind of the whole nostalgic, like, you know, I prefer the old way kind of thing. It's no Bastion. Do you ever play Bastion? I have not played Bastion. You, oh, dude, you need to play Bastion. Oh, I will. Surely they'll port that over to Mac in the next 10 to 20 years. Oh, might already be there. It might. Oh, um, this is the all-important map I'm going to show you. Okay. You ready to see it? It's, it's amazing. Okay. Let me know when you see it. Wow, that map. Oh, wait. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so the map is not really well-remembered well in Game Story. But That's anyway. something you put in a computer, not a map. Here's another first-time player thing I'm letting happen to me on purpose. Okay. But you'll see it in a sec. Shack. I know you're a little behind me, so, uh, and I'm watching the stream in the corner, but you can jump over to Roko there if you like. And we're about to get to our first boss fight and a huge bit of controversy, okay? Oh my god, okay. I know, this is crazy. Be ready for it. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. Are you reading the dialogue boxes? The doctor, so, uh... So Matt Smith's gonna show up any second. That's right, the doc- The doctor's kidnapping Mimiga. I, you know. Right? What's going on? I can't Here we go. Well, for you, in a second. Okay. Okay. Uh... Do you see that, oh yeah? <laughs> Yeah. In the original version of the game, that used to be Huzzah, which um, Deceased Crab took on as a patch for That's where that bullshit came from. That's just where it came from. Okay, so but now I get it. <laughs> Chad is saying this is the best character, Balrog, and he is. I used to think he looked like a toaster, but now I'm thinking Lunchbox. Oh, uh, yeah, I was going to think, like, Suitcase? I can see Suitcase. And that's, uh, misery. But yeah, I can see Toaster, because it looked like toast is coming out of its side. <laughs> Um, anyway, Lunch Misery Lunch. is, uh, the blue-haired... I, I guess she's another Mimiga. She doesn't really look like it, and I don't, I'm not even 100% sure she is, but... Whatever. So anyway, they accidentally kidnapped Taroko, more or less, thinking that she is Sue, but... Yeah. Okay, let good. me retweet your stream tweet. Okay. To put my support... Alright, I, I have a question for the chat. Should I fight Belrog or no? <clears throat> Don't let me down, chat. The results are coming in. Most people are saying yes. Alright. I, I believe this boss fight actually really is optional. Like, you just get a little flavor test and they'll leave if you say no, but... Is it a particularly difficult optional fight? Nah. It's the, it's the first boss, more or less. It's kind of tutorial boss. In fact, you're pretty much seeing his primary method of attack. The he oh yeah two. attack. I'm sorry? The oh yeah attack. Uh huh. The, or the huzzah attack if you're old school. He runs at you and jumps. That's it. It looks like you have a little crush on the boss with the, um, the 
text at the very bottom. No, he, he, I do. It's like you're saying, pause. <laughs> um, sorry. This can be very minor, minorly challenging because you're low on HP and he moves a little erratically, but not particularly. So you have 8 HP? I'm sorry? You have 8 HP? Really 9? I took a hit from Turoko when I came in. Ooh. But again, if you know that's coming, you can jump over. Good memory. <laughs> wow, everyone. Wow, oh, God, they all hate the music. So this is the one with the improved music, right? I have yeah. the chat on mute because I don't like hearing myself echo. Yeah, it's the improved music. Um, I'll tell you what, as far as changing it, uh, Vetus doesn't know it yet, of course, but, you know, you do have to play this game multiple times, so there are plenty of options. You have to, huh? Uh, but you don't wanna. All too fucking bad. Oh. Mon frere. Shit. Let's go to the Mimiga Cemetery. Well, the Mimiga Cemetery is kind of uh, blocked by this guy Jack. He's he's there to keep the mushrooms out, but once Taroko Turo gets kidnapped, he moves out of the way. And you have access to it. Right. Aren't you aren't you great for that? I'm seeing this game, and I'm only reminded of Spelunky with everything I'm seeing. <laughs> Well, it's like adorable Spelunky, basically. It's kind of like pretty adorable. Studio Ghibli, like, kind of married with, um, you know, old pixel style graphics. Retro. Retro Studio Ghibli, I guess you could call it. Mm hmm. Hates you and everything you stand for, right? I'm sorry, say one more time? No. Huh. Sorry, I, I usually a little low compared to the game. That's fine. I I'd rather hear the game than you. I can shout through the duration of the stream. That'd make it easier. If you'd like. Yeah. So, what do you prefer, driving the stream or riding with the stream? That's a or, fair question. Or urinating. I feel more relaxed than when I'm driving the stream. Especially when I'm by myself, because I try to... whip my neck around between chat and game. <laughs> Eric you w may have C noticed a... part two of my Final Fantasy Brave New World stream went up on the YouTube.com. Oh, yeah. Like, hours long. Plug yourself. Yeah, exactly. Everybody can watch, um, you know, Final Fantasy VI or whatever after this. Right. Right. I'm going to say it because we had a really tough boss battle there. Um, I'm, I think I want to go for both endings, by the way, for people asking. What do you think so of that? What do you think of them apples? Uh, will that take 10 hours? Two playthroughs to get two endings? I don't know. Honestly, it's been a long time. I, the problem with streaming is you're just flying by the seat of your fucking pants. And it's, you don't know what's going to happen next. It's kind of been forever and a day since I've played this. So. There's no editing here. It's a whole new wheelhouse. Jesus. I am sweating like a pig on this side. The only rules? Uh, they just got thrown out the window because this is Twitch TV. Oh my god. Well, anyway, so um, from the cemetery we get Arthur's key, so we can go in his house. Arthur is kind of this old mimigai who's dead. He was like a warrior. Who gives a shit? So, okay, the game's about to start proper. Oh, now. Good. Okay. Do you think good? Uh, let's send your tweet out again. Let you know your streaming cave story. It's gonna start soon. <laughs> All right, you ready? Someone sent me a wiki how link about how to be a good gaming commentator on YouTube. <laughs> There's a wiki how on it. There is a wiki how on it. Um, do, you, uh, do you mind if I read the house? Before you do, I have a vote. Should I allow teleportation to the egg corridor? Fuck all you, the answer is yes. Anyway, go ahead, wiki how. <clears throat> okay. So, how to be a good gaming commentator. I won't read the details of this, just the steps. So, uh, everyone get a pen, paper, or just, you know, keyboard and notepad document. Step one, create a YouTube channel. Do you need me to repeat that? No, okay. Hey, I, okay. I leveled up my gun. So, do, uh, do you have a YouTube channel? Um, I do. Okay. So, you got step one. Okay. Step two, try with shorter videos first. God, this is complicated. It's much simpler and quicker to do commentaries with short videos, and they are good for seeing how the community will react to your videos. <laughs> the community. 
the community. The community of short video enthusiasts. And, you know, I disagree with that step, because you're kind of confi uh, confining your audience to only the short video enthusiasts. Oh, dear. Hold on, I'm doing something very stressful here. Okay. Well, you got a life capsule, so that's good. See that white thing on the ground? Right. One hit kill. So, you've made your YouTube channel, you've made your shorter videos. Step three, create a signature intro outro. So this means to have a professional looking video intro, which your standard Windows Movie Maker can hardly do, you can ask from someone who that edits to create you an intro or outro if you don't have a splendid editing program such as Adobe After Effects. Oh, come on! I don't want an intro and outro. I, I just, I don't. Well, then how are you going to be a good gaming commentator? Do you have an intro and outro? How, how are you going to commentate over YouTube videos? How are you going to have that skill if you can't introduce and outro your videos properly? What do you think of this game so far, by the way? It looks charming and fun. At a scale of 1 to 10, how much have I sold you on it? Three. Okay. Let's keep going, then. <laughs> we're, not, we're not leaving till this bottle of vodka is empty. Oh, um, boy. All right. Step four. Step four. Have a signature saying. <laughs> Use something you've heard and modify it to fit your gaming style or such. For example, a well-known YouTube commentator, PewDiePie, uses the word bro to refer to his subscribers. He's got more sayings too. Right. It's even better because it causes his channel to be different and more fun from other gaming channels. So, so do that. Oh. Uh, where does uh, have calling crazy? everything gay come into it? Not sure. Right. You missed a cutscene, by the way. Oh, was it good? Yeah, the um, an another boss uh, took the suit, the real suit, and, and we're learning something about the character. Suit? What? Who's that in the frog suit? That is Cthulhu. I think. Is it? I mean, is it? Well, that's its name. I don't mean it's actually like the whole eldritch god from Lovecraft or whatever. Okay. Uh, so he asked us if we're a soldier from the surface and where our blonde pal is. Which Who's is it, the blonde pal? The, huh? Who's the blonde pal? You. Um, I'm not a blonde. Oh. No. Yet. Well, that's the thing. You don't know yet. This is the first we've heard about ourselves is that we're a soldier from the surface. Okay. All right, well, okay, so you've made your YouTube channel, you've made some short videos, got your outro and intro, and you have a signature saying. Can mine be, oh yeah? It can. Okay. That's fitting. Oh yeah. Step five, if you get popular, remember to actively do things for your subscribers. Who if wrote this? say thousands of more subscribers, the majority of them will expect a new video from you once per week at least. Who wrote this, though? Like, how are they an expert on this? Who wrote this? Uh... Alias Anonymous. <laughs> A.K.A. Oh, no, no. PewDiePie. Um... No, it was, I'm sorry, it was edited by Alias Anonymous, Confusionist, Teresa, Zappa Omati, and five others. Oh, wow. Yeah. Not sure who originally wrote it. Step six. Most importantly, have fun! I hate when that's a step. Like, why would you do this otherwise? Also, like, oh, it's a that's fucking kind of slog. The, uh, I love it. What? Oddly, though, it's also kind of in the middle of all the steps, not the last one. <laughs> Wait, we're not done? No, no, there's nine steps. This is just number six. Oh my god, I've had fun! What do I do next? I'm having fun! What the hell? Oh god, tell me! Tell me! Oh, Wiki how? I, if I do not stop having fun, my YouTube channel is going to crash and burn. Where's step seven? So, uh, most importantly, have fun. It's never going to be a terrific video if you don't like to play. Play only what you want. Play what you want. It's your decision, but do it at least once a week. But it's more subscriber friendly to play, e.g., a custom map or story they suggest in a game. And who knows, maybe you will like it too. I 
the people in the chat, is, is there anyone in the chat who has not played this game or doesn't know anything about it? See, not your, you're doing something for the subscribers, Slovy, if I see you're listening to the steps. I'm having fun, so I figured I might as well. Are you having fun? Well, uh, what shit about video games make your commentary? Why am I playing this? Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. Why am I doing this? Hey, guess what? New weapon. Nice. Looks like a surprisingly high number of people in the chat have not played Cave Story. Oh, cool, okay. So Cave Story has, um, I talked about the leveling and the weapon system before. Yep. But, uh, this is, is a missile launcher. It works kind of like Metroid, more or less, but it still has that, um, leveling system. Nice. I believe on hard difficulty you do not get the missile launcher. It's not like Metroid in the sense that it'll open doors or do anything, like, item-wise. It is just a, a weapon, more or less. I might as well show it off, shouldn't I? That's I... what a good Let's Play would do. Am I being too informative for this stream? That's right, right. we talked about it on the last podcast. Oh, dear. It's a kind of a cash thing, but at the same time, you want to do some due diligence to the game, man. <laughs> All right. Well, let me try to... I'll try to level up my uh, missile launcher later. Oh, right. that's right. Uh, we ran on the computer terminals oh. at... What is it? Egg 6 and... 6 and 1 are abnormal, so we should probably go back to Egg 6 and check it out. 